<laughs> hey, what's up? So I believe we should have a freedom to choose whether we want to use a offline local account or a online Microsoft account in Windows 11. But sadly, Microsoft is just forcing people to use Microsoft account in Windows 11, which is really sad. Let me be honest here. I personally actually don't use local account. I use Microsoft account because I use Microsoft services such as Microsoft Store, which requires you to have a uh, Microsoft account anyway. But there are people who don't use Microsoft services and they just want to use the local account on their Windows 11 PC. Then I think Microsoft should give them the option to use local account or um, Microsoft account. If they use Microsoft services, then they will surely use Microsoft account. But the, if they don't want to use Microsoft account and they don't want to use Microsoft services, then they'll use the local account. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to uh, bypass this Microsoft account uh, requirement for Windows 11 when you're installing it. There are actually a couple of ways to do this by editing the registries and whatnot. So I'm just gonna show you guys the simplest way. So to use the local account in Windows 11 or bypass the Microsoft account requirement in Windows 11, we're gonna use a new updated Rufus software. This is a free software which lets you create bootable USB drive for Windows. So yeah, there is a new version 3.19 and this version allows you to bypass the Microsoft account requirement in Windows 11, which is great. In my opinion, this is possibly the easiest way to bypass uh, the Microsoft account requirement in Windows 11. So I will put link in the description for the official site for Rufus actually. You can go there and download it. This is very popular software and maybe many of you guys already know about this. So let's just not waste any time talking about it okay so i'm gonna select the windows 11 iso file here all right just like we do and then i'm gonna click on start which will actually give you the prompt uh, to customize the windows 11 installation so we can actually bypass the secure boot and tpm2 with it we can also bypass the ram and disk space requirement and we can also block the privacy questions it won't ask you the privacy questions when you're installing the windows 11 for this demo i'm just gonna check all of them and hit ok and i'm gonna hit ok and i'm gonna let this process run all right our bootable usb drive is ready now we can put it on any computer and boot uh, the windows 11 from usb and install it i'm just gonna use the vmware to show you guys that it works all right so I'm going to choose the bootable USB drive that we just created. All right. I'm going to boot there and our Windows 11 is booting from the USB drive. The setup process will remain the same, but this time you will see that we will have an option to enter the local account straight. There is only one thing you need to do when you're installing the Windows 11 if you want to use the local account is that you need to disconnect the internet. Make sure that you're not using internet on your computer. If you're using ethernet, unplug your ethernet and you'll be good. So I'm just gonna go through this setup as usual i'm just gonna go with the windows 11 pro uh, just for the demo it works with any edition of windows 11 so don't worry about that now i'm just gonna choose the uh, the disk and i'm gonna let this process complete all right the installation is complete now we are entering the setup where we have to set up the account and everything let's go through the setup just like we do normally all right now if you want to use the local account then this is the most important part. You can see I'm not using a internet, so I have this option here. So to use a local account, all you have to do here, just click on I don't have internet, just like that. And after that, click on continue with limited setup, just like that. And now you'll have an option to enter the name for local account. I'm just gonna uh, type here KB2 just for the test password one two three four why not <laughs> one two three four why not our security questions are required so i have to fill these up okay i'm just gonna fill these just like that and you're done that's it yeah <laughs> now you'll jump straight to the desktop 
That's all you need to do. Easy peasy. And as I said, this is probably the easiest way to get the local account on Windows 11. You just need to cut off the internet from your PC and you'll be good. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please do the comment. And yeah, that's it. Let me actually show you guys the desktop. So I'm going to let this finish uh, because some people just don't trust the tutorial makers. So let me show you guys uh, the local account from inside. I mean, from the desktop. All right. Uh, here's the desktop. And uh, here we have the local account. Change account settings. And you can see this is a local account all right you can see local account yeah <laughs> that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye